Hi, this is Kyle with the Additive Guru YouTube channel, and today I've got a tutorial to share with you for modeling this part. And what we've got here is a part with a boss and a base and a gusset. And when I see a part with lots of thin features like this, I like to think about adding components as opposed to cutting and removing material. So the way we're going to model this part is first we're going to draw the base since we've got this step feature at the back here. And we can just draw a profile right around here for this base and then we'll extrude that. You can see the part is centered. It's got a center line here. So this base will be 72 wide centered on that center line. And then we've got this vertical feature here which is just going to be rectangular and then we've got this triangular gusset and a circular boss right here with some fillets and holes. Okay, so our base here is 35 millimeters wide. It's got this piece on the back that's 6 millimeters tall, 5 millimeters deep, and the overall base height is 10 millimeters. So let's draw that profile. Go to your sketch function and we're gonna pick the YZ plane to keep our part oriented the same way it is on our drawing. And just snap to the origin. And we've got 35 millimeters for the width. And we'll just draw the basic profile here and we'll come back and add some dimensions to fully constrain our sketch. Okay, let's so go to your dimension command. And this was a height of 6 right here. Okay, and that was a depth of 5 which it already is. Overall width of 35 and an overall height of 10. Okay, that sketch is fully constrained. You can hit finish sketch. And then we'll go to the extrude command and instead of one side for the direction we're going to choose symmetric and instead of the half length, you want to choose whole length. And we're going to have a distance of 72. Okay, so you can see that looks correct on the preview. And go ahead and hit enter or OK. Let's look back at our drawing. And we're going to create this vertical piece next. You can see that the vertical piece actually doesn't have a dimension, so you have to do some subtraction here. This boss is 13 millimeters deep and then this is five millimeters cut out here so this is going to be a total of eight millimeters from this edge right here on the step okay and then the height of that vertical feature is going to be 60 we're going to have to subtract the 10 millimeters from our base let's go back to your model and create sketch function and hit this top face and all we need is a two-point rectangle and we can snap to the size that we need for the width okay that gets us close and hit your dimension function and we'll constrain this all right 30 is correct and the depth was 8 okay now to make sure this is centered, I believe it snapped correctly, but we can go ahead and put a dimension on it. And we can create a simple equation or function. So we know our total width is 72, subtract the 30, the close parentheses, and divide by 2. And that comes out to 21. It didn't move, so it was centered properly. It's a fully constrained sketch, so you can hit finish sketch. And we'll go ahead and extrude that profile. Okay. And we'll put a distance of 50 on it, like we said. We want to make sure your operation here is on join so that we're creating just one body, not multiple bodies. Okay. Go back to our drawing. Next part we're going to create is this boss on the top and you can see from the isometric view that it is circular at the back 
and then you can also verify that by this 30 dimension here. It's a diameter dimension. All right, that is centered on the part, and it's a full radius, so it's going to be 30 diameter. Okay. Go back to our model and create a sketch on this vertical face. And just hit your center diameter circle. Snap to the middle of the part on the top line there. And then snap to the edge. And that's a fully constrained sketch. Hit finish sketch. And then once again go back to the extrude function. We're going to pick, you have to pick both the top and the bottom part of that circle because of the line of that vertical part. And it's 13 deep. Now it's going the wrong way, so if we pull it the other way, look what happens. It turns red and it thinks you want to cut. All right, so that's not what we want to do. We actually want to join. So change your operation to join there. Okay, change that back to. It's going to be a negative 13 now. And say OK. All right, that's looking good. Next thing we're going to do is add this gusset in here. And you can see we've got a dimension of 60 degrees. And it comes straight from this corner here up to the vertical face. And the width of that gusset is 10 millimeters. So go back to your create sketch. And we're going to create a sketch on that original plane that we sketched on to create the base. All right, hit that corner, and then it won't snap to this face, so I like to just kind of pull it away. All right, go to your sketch dimension, and we're going to dimension this line for 60 degrees. Now when I did that, you notice that this point jumped off of the corner. That's not what I want. So we're going to have to put a coincidence constraint on there. Some versions of Fusion actually will create a constraint for you, but in this case it didn't. And we need to zoom in there a little bit, see what we're doing. Alright, so I've already picked the end of that line. I need to pick this corner, and it snaps right to it. You need to do the same thing on the other end of the line. Okay, and you can verify that we have a closed profile now because it's a little bit grayed out here. All right, so say finish sketch, and go to your extrude function, rotate around so we can see what we're doing, and we're going to do another symmetric for the direction and whole length. I'm going to make it a distance of ten. Okay. All right, that's looking good. Next thing we need to do is add our fillets here. That's two at a radius of 15, so both fillets are 15. Let's go to your fillet function. And you can select multiple fillets at a time and set them all to the same dimension. Okay. So we'll set that to 15. Okay. All right. The next feature we want to create is these corner radii, but if you notice on the drawing, there's no dimension for that corner radii. So we have to assume it's centered on the circles that make up these holes. So we're going to go ahead and model the holes first. They're at a width of 48 and 23 from the back of the part and they're a diameter of 12. So we've got two holes at a diameter of 12. So we're going to create a sketch on this face and just draw a line anywhere between these two faces. Okay. And we'll dimension that line to width of 48 and then it'll be 23 from the back. Okay. And if you notice, the line looks pretty centered, but it's probably not. So we want to create another dimension 
and we'll create another simple command here to make sure it's centered. 72 minus the 48, close parentheses, and divide by 2. And that centers it up perfectly. Okay, so I finish sketch. And we'll go to our whole function and just pick the ends of this line. All right, and we want 12 for those holes and say OK. All right, next we can add a fillet. And if you remember from our sketch, it came out to 12 millimeters for the radius that we need. So we're going to select both of those lines and set those to 12. All right, the last thing we need to do here is add our final hole on this upper boss, and it's a diameter of 12 as well. So to do this, Fusion won't let us snap right to the middle of this feature, so we're going to have to create a sketch with a single point in it on this vertical face. So if you hit the Create pull down here and go to Point, you can snap the point right to the middle of that arc. Okay, and that's all we need for that sketch. So hit finish sketch. And then we'll go to our hole command. So just pick your point. And we're already set to 12, and it's going through the part. And if you don't want to set a depth of 25, you can just go ahead and say extents all. So it goes through the entire part. All right, say OK. And let's look it over and make sure that we got everything. And it looks like it. So thank you for watching and check out some of the other great tutorials we got on the Additive Guru YouTube channel.